I was thinking we could let uh, Alpha do uh, all the hard work in this particular case. So uh, we want to launch um, a URL from um, a value that's coming from a list control, so that's great. Um, Doug, you said that you don't mind if you're opening up another window, so I, that's kind of what we're going to do here. So here we have our list control. Let's get into the list properties. And uh, I've just got a static list control, uh, list data going here. And I've got a couple of items where we're going to look at Alpha software and we're going to look at Apple, uh, both full URLs. So that's good. And we're going to go to list properties and look at the on click event. And here I've got um, uh, a run action defined called open URL. And let's go and have a look at that. So there's open URL. We're going to edit that action. And this is just um, uh, a standard action to open an A5W page, static HTML page, URL, so on. So let's get into that. Um, I don't want to add an action. I want to edit this one. So what we're going to do here is um, the page URL is coming directly from the list. Um, I wasn't sure if this would work because it wasn't... Um, I didn't I didn't see anywhere that it uh that it was going to work but I thought I'll try it and you know the guys at Alpha once again um brilliant in what they allow us to do so in in braces um we define our list control our list control is returning information from the from the task um so from our task list list and uh it's it's returning the, this value directly into the page URL. Um, the target's going to be a browser window, which means that we can do other things with it, which I'll show you in a minute. And the browser window name is going to be blank. Now, you can try some other stuff in here. There's there's four options in there, so you can try those. But um, this, is the, this is the great part here. So this means you can have a value anywhere, like in a text box. It doesn't, doesn't really matter as long as, uh, long as you can get to it up from your uh, UX component. I think you can put it in there. And so list just returns directly in there. Save that, save that, do that. Um, I'll get out of there. And we'll just go to our data source again. And you can see that returning, we're returning the field task. Uh, into our list uh, list one control and that's that so let me just uh, I'm gonna fire up my iPad here we are yeah you should see that so here here we've got our uh, this is just sitting in a navigation control so here we have uh, alpha software so I'm going to just tap on that and our URL gets processed, a browser window pops up. Um, we've got a done button down in the uh, lower left hand corner. And just above that, we, we see the page that's being loaded. So we can click done. We're right back at our application. How great is that? That's just amazing. Um, we'll go to Apple. There's a, a nice iPhone. And uh, we can click on iPad, and um, the screen behaves um, as if we're sitting on their site. Because that's all the Apple stuff, and we can scroll around. We can move around. So we've got full control over the uh, over the page that's been rendered. And uh, lower right-hand corner, we've got uh, forward and backward buttons, so that's great. We can just go back to where we started from. And then done again, and back to where we came from, from within Alpha. So it doesn't get much better than that, I think, unless you want something else really specific. Um, that works really well, I think. And uh, I hope that's what you're after. Thanks.